Rayleigh small engines here. We got a pressure washer came in. It's a, you can barely read it there. It's a Simpson pressure washer. Customer is describing this as it jumps. Now it runs fine, but it, what I found, I hooked it up already and it's not putting out any pressure. Took the hose back off and I'm gonna turn the water on and you'll see, let's see if I can do this in the sunlight here. Uh, it's barely getting any water out of that outlet valve there. So let's get it in here on the bench and see if we can come up with what's going on. All right. Any of you fellas that watch me, guys and gals, uh, y'all know I don't like working on the ground. So I'm gonna put it on a roll cart. There's the doggone problem. It's got a flat tire. Not. Okay, the first thing I usually do, this is how you adjust your pressure. I call, I think it's called the unloader. Thingamabob, whatchamacallit, hitchimo. Anyway, I'm gonna back this off and then I'm gonna get a wrench and unscrew that and we'll take it apart. I think there's a spring and a check valve in there. I don't work on a whole lot of these, so worst case, we'll, we'll call somebody and uh, maybe figure something out. I mean, these pumps are not that expensive, so. Uh, which I hadn't looked it up. Probably 150 bucks or something, I guess. And I don't know. Let's get it apart and see what it looks like. Alright. Alright, I hope you guys can hear me behind the, the fan. It's hot down here, so... I've got that fan going over there. I know it's loud. I'll try to talk a little louder. You know I've got that wireless mic. Uh, I need to uh, actually use the darn thing. All right, there it is. Let's get it over to the bench and see what's going on. See if we can see any kind of issue here. Stand by. All right, well, I come over here. This little piston in here was stuck. And the first thing I did, now it's working. I just pushed down and it went pop real hard and it popped loose and started working. Why it was hung up, I don't know. Well, what we're going to do, this thing goes to work, and I blew in here with the air hose, blew this off a little bit. I'm going to put it back together and just go hook it up and see if the doggone thing starts working. Maybe it was just hung up, had a little piece of trash or something in there. I don't know. We're going to find out. Stand by. We'll get over toward I'll tighten this up, and we'll go hook the garden hose up. All right, I hooked the garden hose up. Let's uh, cut it on and see what it looks like. Now it looks like an improvement to me. I've got it turned down, but something just don't look right with this to me. Give me a second. I'm going to hook the hose up and we'll crank it up and see what the gun does. All right. Let's kind of situate you right there. All right. Let's see if I can get around the camera crank this thing up. That sounds better already. I can hear the unloader. You can hear the change of the engine load and it's going back. Awesome, I think we got it. Well, that ended up being pretty short, pretty easy fix. Done loader. Some of them are in different spots on these pumps and whatnot. Take them out, clean them out, blow them out. Be sure your little piston in there works and you should be good to go. Hopefully, unless your pump's messed up. So, thanks for watching this channel. Click that subscribe button, folks. Uh, we'd appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Have a great day. Rayleigh Small Engines. See you next time.